Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of Arc Audio's tutorial and overview on the latest and greatest PS8 software and firmware utility upgrade and interface instructional videos. In this part we're going to cover how to get the software to read those existing settings files that you had from the previous versions of the PS8 software utility. In the last chapter we covered how to install that software as well as how to update the firmware on your PS8 as it's a completely new process. If you have not checked that out I do highly recommend you stop this video and you go back and watch step one first as it is a completely new process. So let's get started. First thing is nice part about this new software is you can actually have both the older version and the newer version installed on the same computer without them conflicting against each other. However, once you have updated the firmware, the old software will not work with the new firmware uh, in your PS8. So, let's open up the old version of the software, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on the ellipsis, and as you see, I've already saved my settings files uh, to, the, uh, to the computer, which in this version, each settings file actually contained three presets worth of information. In order to simplify things for users, we're taking each of those settings files and we're going to split them up. And now with the new software, each setting file saved on your computer is an individual preset. So we're going to double click on File Transfer Demo and we're going to click Work Offline. Now we're on preset 1 and as you see, the equalization here, we've got 2.5k all the way up to 20k, has been bottomed out at negative 24. And on preset 2, we have 6.3k to 20k at negative 12 dB. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on preset 1 first, we're going to go to file, export to CSV, and we're going to name this export preset 1. Now we're going to go to preset 2 and we're going to click on file, export to CSV, and we're going to call this one export to preset 2. And of course, if you had a third preset, you would do the same thing. Now that we're all done with this, we're going to close this up and we're going to go ahead and start the PS8 software. Now for this portion of it, you can actually have the PS8 hooked up to the, uh, uh, to the software and do this live. As there's a lot of new changes with this software, the software and the PS8 automatically update at the same time. So what we're going to do is, as you see with the new software, we're over here, we are on preset 1, and what we want to do is we want to import those settings files for preset 1 onto the new version. So we're going to go to File, Import, and here we go, Export Preset 1. And takes a few seconds here you're gonna see it update and it'll reopen the plot window and boom there you go now it has already saved itself to the PS8 itself in real time so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come up to file we're gonna to go to save as and we're gonna name this demo preset 1 and we're gonna click save okay now this will take a second. We're going to change over to preset 2. Okay. Now that we've changed over and we've loaded everything from the preset 2 that's currently on there, we're going to come up to File. We're going to go to Import. And as you see, we have our preset 2. We're going to double click on it and it's going to go ahead and load itself to the software as well as also to the processor. And boom, there you go. We've got our light flashing over here still showing that we're connected. And we're going to come up to File, click Save As, and we're going to go ahead and name this Demo Preset 2. And that is basically all you need in order to get your presets over. And you can do this as many times as you need to, creating the files, copying them over. Um, it makes it really, really easy and very simple for a lot of people now to be able to have this flexibility to put the uh, individual files where they want it. But the only thing you're going to need to cover at this point that's not saved in here is going to be your channel names. Uh, you will need to come up here to your setup channel and you can change the names and also your turn on and turn off delays. That information is not stored in the settings file as those are all firmware based and you will need to update those which we will cover how to update those in the next part. So in the meantime, hope everything goes well and if you have any questions or troubles feel free to call us at 
209-543-8706. And we'll be happy to walk you through this if there's any problems and get you guys rolling with the latest and greatest on the PSA. Have a good day.